Okie dokie. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Well, uh, I'm currently working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post. And, um, I also, uh, checked out, uh, one of the other posters on there. Um, she posted a thing of her doing a 16 personalities test. And, um, which, uh, it kind of inspired me a bit. Because, uh, it was a test that I took, like, many years ago. Um, I think the results of it was me, uh, being an INTJ. Or, let me back up a bit. Was, uh, being a borderline INTJ. INFJ type. So, but, uh, like I said, I'm currently working on my uh, blog post, so, um, I need to get it, I need to get it sent off between the, uh, between the, between 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. That's my preferred window, so giving me about, giving me about 20 minutes to get this whole test done. Um, I originally started on it, um, I got, I got, got about part way through, I figured, you know, Maybe I should make a video on this. So, but um, I am gonna try to go quickly through this. Like, like once again, um, I'm kind of under the hammer right now. So, but um, like usual, I am gonna have some music going in the background. This is gonna be um, uh, Auto Alazzo, the Nightland. Um, it's just, it's a, it's a shuffled playlist. It's just what I what I have on at the time. So, didn't really have any, didn't really have time to cherry pick. Personality test. Um, you regularly make new friends? Nope. Um, I pretty much keep to myself most of the time. There's a. I do. I am a streamer, a content creator as well. But what um when they meet friends, I'm thinking they're referring to like in real life friends. Which uh, again, I'm not a. I'm not the world's most sociable guy, so. Topics, yeah. Seeing other people cry. Um, somewhat. Uh, backup plan, yeah. I'll have a time to do that. Probably comes from, uh, working, um, working high stress jobs for so many years. Uh, stay calm. Um, uh, what, uh, in the middle on that one. Yeah, for the most part, I can stay calm, but um, when something happens that I don't anticipate, I'm pretty much a canary in a coal mine. Um, if things don't go as planned, yeah, I usually I get uh, pretty well perturbed. Kind of a tough call, but uh, I'm pretty much a wallflower, so I'll just go ahead and click that. sentimental um, I'm horrible with uh, schedules and lists it's it's not because it's not because I have a good memory it's because I have a bad memory writing down more things just means more things I forget it, I don't I don't write grocery lists I don't write shopping lists I don't and um, I bear out back when I was doing when I was doing a uh, cast videos or podcast videos um, I did jot down some notes, some things that I wanted to say. I forgot, and when I was actually recording the cast, I'd, I'd forget the notes half the time, so... Yeah, I don't even bother with it. Um... I hate how it goes to the next question when you click it. Small mistake, um, uh, yeah. Nope. Not too interested in discussing. Um, I can get into it. Whoa, whoa, misread the question. I gotta turn that down a little bit. Here, let me, uh, let me sound check this. took this test like years ago I was uh, more inclined to fall on my head over the years though 
it's changed over time, so... We're just doing what you feel like. Yeah, at my job, we pretty much... This pretty much dominates, uh... This dominates our work shift. There's th certain things we have to do at certain times, and we're... We also work under a deadline as well. So, outside of that... Yeah. Yeah, oftentimes, um... Uh, sometimes, quote-unquote, being yourself can oftentimes backfire on you, so... Probably a lot of the people that I've pissed off over the years, I never mean to. It just, it's just how it comes out. It's just how I come off. Nope. Again, I'm not a socialite. The most, the most social, the most social I ever want to get is uh, streaming and content creation. And then, um, one other thing that I have on my bucket list, but I'm in no, I'm in no hurry to achieve it, is uh, I'd like to do a, do a Dungeons and Dragons session, like an actual tabletop one. But again, I'm in no hurry. So, but aside from that, yeah, back, bump that down. Up. Um, I don't. Nearly all the books and movies that I've that I've checked out, it's always cut and dry. There's always there's always a resolution. There's always an ending, you know, a point A to point B type thing. So this one, that one's really hard for me to make a judgment call on. Um, and again, many years ago, this uh, it probably would have been around the uh, somewhere in the disagree area, but over the years. It's become that. I think, um... Let me think. Probably, uh... When I had, uh... When I had last taken this test, I had just gotten my apartment. Uh, up until that point, I had spent at least half my life living with other people, living under their roof, basically living under their rules and stuff. So, I didn't have a whole lot of me time, but, but again, once I got my apartment, I got all the me time in the world now, so, once I got that, it's gradually shifted from, like, over here to now over here, so. And, uh, again, at work, we have to do certain things at a certain time. There's a certain order we have to do stuff, but outside of work, yeah. Pretty much like a bird that's been let out of its cage. Yes. Probably my ultimate me song, uh, Canary in a Coal Mine by the Police. But um, this isn't. This ain't this ain't blind either. It's not just it's not just blind paranoia. I mean, life isn't you know life life isn't sunshine and rainbows and peaches. I mean. I guess, uh, for lack of a better word, metaphysically speaking, there is like this, oh god, what was it called? Regression to the mean? Regression to the norm or something like that? Like, it's like a, a, a component of RNG, you know, random number generator, like, if you flip the coin over and over and over and over, like, many, many times, eventually the results are going to even out. It seems that uh, life is almost like this, too. You're going to have some good times, but you're also going to have some bad times as well to go along with it. So... Um... I don't avoid it. But uh, especially at my job, um... That I've been uh, working at for almost working in retail for almost 35 years now. 
meal, so I've done it for so long, I already know what to do. So, I'm, you know, I'm the, I'm the grizzled old veteran, so, oftentimes I'm looked at for, for advice and what to do and all that, so, definitely not a bad, nope. I think there is more I wanted to say on this, but like I said, I have a I have a blog post I need to get back on. Um People are who they are. So I I'll just say neutral on that. Yep. Gotta get the important stuff out of the way. No, I don't. Now, it should also be uh, stated here, argue, as opposed to like debating or just discussing. I mean, I'm referring to arguing here when people are actually like screaming and shouting at each other, you know, chucking pots and pans at each other, that kind of thing. Um, that, I'm no fan of. work on the background. Um, I think probably back in the day, I was probably in the uh, disagree area, but again, over the years, more things has, uh, more things has pissed me off more, so... Um, again, people are who they are. I gotta have to say neutral on this. Some things are inevitable. Nope, not a religious person. I, I kind of, I kind of take this back. Um, again, way back in the day, I'd have been a 100% agree. But over the years, again, because I got my own apartment, I'm independent now. I'm allowed to think and do things for myself. It's probably uh, gravitated more to probably around there. Um, I guess what they mean, um. Uh, when it, something gets highly theoretical, I'm assuming they're meaning when it's just verbal masturbation. They're just talking just to hear the sound of their own voice, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I drew that a bit. Yep, been working in retail for about 35 years now. I've dealt with all kinds of people, all their all their quirks, their likes, their dislikes, their attitudes, and all that. So. It's an easy agree on that. Yup. Things can change at the last minute. Uh, yeah. I do second guess my choices, but not that often. If I don't have enough information at the time, that's when I start second guessing. So I'll just say neutral on this one. Nope. Again, um, aside from uh, streaming and content creation, I keep to myself. To this day, art museums, it, I don't hate them, but the. Uh, yeah, but art, for the most part, it just goes over my head. Nope. And that's something else, too. In um, retail, considered one of the worst professions to ever be in, um, it just, it's fat, the job is fast-paced, high stress, you're under the hammer, you, you're oftentimes working under a deadline, but in those situations, uh, people pretty much show their true colors. 
you'll find out who your, you know, you'll really find out who your friends and enemies are. You know, you'll find out who is, you know, by your side, and you'll also find out who's willing to sell you out and throw you under the bus. So, yeah. Oftentimes, I think I know what they're gonna do before they even do it. Nope. Again, but it, once again, at work, there, every, there's, a, there's a, there's a certain order to everything. At home, nope. Again, aside from my uh, usual chores, uh, doing dailies on games and stuff like that. Um. I'm still gonna say neutral on this. Um, I think back in the day, uh, yeah, this I could almost make a whole video on this. So for right now, I'll just say neutral. Avoid making phone calls. I'd rather talk to you face to face. have a social circle so I guess um I'd probably substitute guilds or um you know social groups and video games but I don't have one in real life Actually, if I actually remember the mistakes I made, yeah, it still bothers me. But because uh, I've got a bad memory, and uh, mistakes that I made a long time ago, they just uh, pop up in my head. They come and go. But for the times that they actually do, yeah. So I'll probably just say slightly agree. say like once again way back in the day I was probably up in the uh I was probably somewhere in the agree part but again more and more it just again people are who they are so no yep Oftentimes too, this is especially on my job, especially on the job. I've often made the mistakes that other people make, so I totally understand where they're coming from. And again, I could probably, uh, I could probably make a whole video just on this alone. So I'll just go on to the next. Work style is closer to spot. Um, not anymore. Not at my age. With the burnout and injuries and all that. So it, at work it's organized and consistent, so. considered a waste of time but again once you know back in the day you know probably back in my 20s 30s um I've read different philosophers uh I think Anne Rand um Morahe Yushiba the founder of the uh, Aikido martial art uh Bruce Lee's uh Jeet Kune Do it's actually a philosophy by the way not just a martial arts style um you know you know stuff like that but again, these days, I don't, I don't really follow philosophical stuff. 
I don't... I'll say it, uh... Slightly disagree. It's just something I don't really bother with these days. Um... Again, um, having a background where you're working directly with customers, for, in my case, for so many years, and once again, under such a, such a fast-paced, high-stress environment. Yeah, so you'll they reveal themselves. Anyway, I got a 90%, almost done. At my job, hardly at all. At home, at home, eh, well, I'm, I'm a bit overwhelmed right now. Like I said, I still have a blog post I have to get taken care of. It's 5.02 p.m. at the moment, so I need to get this video all, you know, you get the idea, so I'll just say neutral. Um, kind of randomly on here. Uh, in this day and age, with YouTube, Pornhub, and, you know, basically the internet, controversial does, is not a strong a word these days. Again, um, I mean, again, stuff like Pornhub, that's pretty much mainstream now, so, way back in the day, especially before the internet, oh yeah, I would, this would have been a strong agree. But this day and age, not so much. Um, it would depend on what the opportunity would be. So this is such a blanket term right here. I'll just say neutral. Struggle with deadlines? At my job? You betcha. Or. Let me, let me back up a bit. At home, it depends. At my job, oftentimes we're given unrealistic expectations. Bosses rely on spreadsheets, so at my job, yeah, we struggle. Um, at home, not so much, so I'll say neutral. Um... I've been on both. I've been on both sides. Again, I've had um, I've had good times, but I've had some shitty times as well. So, regression to the mean. I'll just say neutral. All right, let's see my results. Huh? Advocate. Okay, so, uh, Mary, the last time I took this. It was an INTJ type. It was kind of a borderline. INFT? Yeah, but it... In case I forgot to say it, I was a borderline INTJ, INFJ. I'm wondering if this, uh... I wonder if this T is supposed to be INFT, which I had never heard of. Or if, uh... Or, again, if it's a borderline INTJ or INFJ. It's kind of confusing. Client visionary is often serving. No surprises there. I'm trying to remember what I had back in the day, or the last time I took this test. Man. Yep. This is a stark contrast. Um, I remember last time me taking this test. It would have been the other way around. It would have been almost all thinking. But again, what's up? Uh, I think once I got my apartment, 
like, uh, 13, 14 years ago. And not, uh, not living under somebody else's roof, living under somebody else's rules. This, is, this has changed over the years. But again, way back before then, this would have been almost all thinking. Same thing here. Um, judging? This would have been almost all judging. But now it's like, it's actually a good balance. Let me back up a bit. I don't think. Yeah, same thing. 51%. 84% introverted. 51%. 77. Yeah, 51%. So, it, it's all... On one end, I hadn't really changed hardly at all. Still a borderline INTJ, INFJ type. Never seen this before. Our self-conscious and sensitive distress. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen this. That might have been what that, uh, what that T was in the, uh, page but again I'm pretty much balanced oh so, looks to be about it I I don't care about this um, I'm making a video on it so oh here it is so I gotta wind things down. Talk to me and help me become. Okay, um, but I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but I think last time I took this test, I was um, I was a uh, borderline INTJ, INFJ. But I think back then. I lean towards the INTJ type. This time around, I'm now leaning towards an INFJ type. So, uh, I, I'd like to read this over, but again, I have a blog post I have to get taken care of. So, yeah, I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Uh, but, kind of an awkward ending, but. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Bye for now. Back on the blog.